Yeah, hi, Podgy Genius One X One. This is a video on how to SSH on your iPod Touch or iPhone. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need to do is search. Go to the search tab in Cydia. I'm typing SSH and then look for the package that says Open SSH. Tap it. Now tap Install. Confirm and wait for it to download. Now the package name OpenSSL will come with this. That is okay. And after it's done installing, it'll tell you to, to reloading the data, so let it do that. See how it says return to Cydia? You want to tap this next. Okay. Now, I shouldn't have closed it yet because I want you guys to get one more package. It's called SB Settings. So let me just load up City and get to the download page. Okay, so, you know, I'm having Wi Fi problems, but I installed the package and now I have to go tap Restart Springboard. Wait for that to do, to do whatever. Now you want to swipe your status bar. Hold on, I have to make sure the download actually did something. So I'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. SB Tinnings didn't download because of that little Wi Fi mess up. But anyway, so it's installing now, as you can see. And when it's finished, I'll come right back. And actually, while you're waiting for this, you can go to the link in my video and download SSH, the one SCP program, and then run it. Let it go on your computer, and make sure you have a little desktop icon. And then, Mr. Springboard. And then when I enter my passcode when it turns on, we swipe this. And see it says SSH. So what we have to reboot our iPod set. So we're gonna turn it off and turn it back on. Turn it off. And I'm going to turn it on, and I'll come right back when it's done. Okay, so it's turning on now. What we should do while it's turning on is double-click this program. It should pop up like this. Okay? We're going to need our iPods for the next part. Okay, I'm going to my back. Now, swipe the status bar, make sure the little SSH thing is green, okay? Once it's green, and so is your Wi-Fi, it'll say Wi-Fi IP address, the first thing. So, that box, that IP address is going to be what you type in for the host name. So, let me just type that in. Okay, so I typed it in, and the username... Okay, if you're not following along, you can check the more info tab. So anyways, the username will be root, R-O-O-T. And the password you're going to put is A-L-P-I-N-E, all in lowercase, just like root. Anything else in this, except for the protocol, make sure it's S-F-T-P and allow S-C-P fallback. Make sure that's tapped off. Private key file, just leave that alone, and port number, I have it on 22, so keep that. After you've done this, I want you to click Save. And it should say root, at, and then the IP address on your iPod. Now, if your iPod, your Wi-Fi IP just changes, you're going to have to put that into host name and do the other steps. So then press OK. Now you'll see it right here. I want you to double-click that. 
And if you see it's not loading, you want to go into SSH and tap Wi-Fi and tap SSH. Then try to tap them again. And if you have to, reload it. See, mine, I might have to do that. So I'll show you guys what I mean. Yeah, I have to do that. Okay, so now tap Wi-Fi, tap SSH. So now you have no port or anything. Tap them again, so the green. Wait for your IP address to show here on your Wi-Fi. I'm just going to come back when that actually happens. Oh, okay. So, now we're waiting for this on the computer. I'm just going to come back to you guys when it's actually loaded up. Okay, so, it should come up with the message like this the first time. If you want to click update, it'll come up with a warning message. Just click update. The password is A L P I N E. And now you're in your iPod with SSH. Now, what I'm going to demonstrate to you guys is putting my own personalized Winterboard theme in and a few other stuff, a few other themes. So, to get to the theme area, there will be three dots. Double click that. Then find stash. Double click that. And you'll see themes. So, whatever theme you have, I have two right here. You want to drag and drop them into this little directory. Now, before, it should, might take a little while, like mine, but after this, you would exit this and then untap SSH here. Respring your device. You can tap the little respring button right there in the three settings or reboot it. Makes them power reboot, whichever one you want. And for instance, this theme, you go to Winterboard and select it there. This can be used from downloading a theme off the internet or creating your own, like the ones I did, my own themes. And you can also use SSH for many other things, like I have written in my, in my videos and stuff. But, anyways, I'm going to be doing some more stuff with SSH, so I'm going to end my video now. Thank you, this is Sci-Fi Genius 1x1. Rate, comment, subscribe. Bye.